First tonight, the national labor shortage now threatening public safety right here in Metro Detroit. Good evening to you and welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Some emergency services facing a shortage of workers, fire departments, nurses and EMTs, long running issues now worsened by the pandemic. Michigan's third largest city is putting out a call for help. The Warren Fire Department is short more than 20 firefighters. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykett shows us what's fueling the shortage and the looming impact on response times. Right now, a major push is underway to hire more Warren firefighters to maintain an average response time of five minutes or less. After just five years, those positions will pay a base salary in the mid 70s. And the mayor says a lot of the talent they're looking for could be at local high schools like this one. We're creating a program, a fire cadet program, where we're going to train people right off the street. In the race to fill more than 20 vacant positions at the Warren Fire Department as quickly as possible. It's about ensuring citizens continue to have the highest level of service. Commissioner Skip McAdams tells us local high schools will now be among targeted areas for recruiting, as roughly 20 of the city's bravest have recently retired. Right out of high school, veterans, honorably discharged veterans, young people who are interested in a career. Approximately 54,000 and caps at 75,000. Currently, 108 firefighters are working in Warren, most also functioning in a dual capacity <laughs> as paramedics. With a job fair also in the works, the city is working on a way to offer $5,000 hiring bonuses and even paying for full training at the academy, along with great benefits. I think we will be able to achieve the goal of filling all the positions and having top-notch firefighters in Warren professionalism, dedication, and uh, a feeling that we're here to serve and protect the citizens of Warren. Mayor Jim Fout says these types of staffing shortages are being felt all around the country and points out challenges such as COVID-19 and other setbacks are delaying the process. With roughly 20,000 calls a year, Michigan's third largest city offers many opportunities, including making a real difference in the community. In his own words, Mayor Fouts making this final pitch. Please come to Warren and be part of the best fire department in the state. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you. If you are interested, the fire commissioner says you can contact the city's human resource department as early as Monday for more information. From Warren, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon.